I welcome you to a hopefully epic comparison of two mainstream high-end CPUs by Intel and AMD respectively. Since I want to ensure an as fair and realistic as possible side-by-side -side comparison, there is a strong focus on price comparability, basically what you get as a consumer for a similar amount of money from either Intel or AMD. And since this test is targeted towards the huge mass, I will not be using the most expensive high-end models that can be had for far more than 1000 US dollars. Today I will compare the current Intel mainstream flagship model Core i9-10900K with the AMD Ryzen 9 3900XT. The prices at the time of producing this video look as follows. For the i9-10900K, depending on its availability, you'll have to shell out about 550 to 650 US dollars. A Ryzen 9 3900 XT currently can be had for roughly 500 to 550 dollars. However, I'd like to point out that a Ryzen 9 3900 X, depending on the offer, at 430 to 500 dollars, can end up being a much better deal from a price to performance perspective. But since I don't want to favor either Intel or AMD in any way, I'll leave the price to decide which CPU goes against which CPU. Needless to say, I am of course fully aware of the fact AMD also has a 3950X out. However, it's in a completely different price range, at least when primarily comparing lowest possible pricing of each model. Of course, I also know that not all of you will agree with my comparison, there's always more than one view to many things, but I simply cannot please everyone. So on the left you see the i9-10900K with its 10 cores and 20 threads. On the right, the Ryzen 9 3900XT with 12 cores and 24 threads. Although it would have been possible to overclock both CPUs, I intentionally decided against doing so, since that would only introduce more variables. Also automatic overclocking features of any kind, such as multi-core enhancement, precision boost overdrive and the like, were left disabled for this test, since those are not within the official specification, neither by Intel nor AMD. Normal turbo functionality as well as XMP and or AMD's equivalent were enabled. After all, that is how the majority of consumers have their PC configured. Except for the CPU and motherboard obviously, both systems were equipped with identical components. The most crucial one being the graphics card, a Gigabyte RTX 2080 Ti, the gaming OC variant. As already mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is meant to be an as realistic of a comparison as possible, meaning I intentionally decide against going with a purely scientific approach, therefore decide against testing with a screen resolution of Full HD 1080p. Instead I go for WQHD 1440p, which is much more common for an RTX 2080 Ti. If you prefer theory, please go watch my published main reviews of these processors respectively instead of this video. As it was the case with my previous Intel vs AMD videos, I will not express any of my own opinions. I want you all to shape your own opinions based on what you see. Enjoy.